Hello! I am finally here. Welcome. To Diagon Alley. No. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I am here. Hello. I was kind of like a, I, I became a Harry Potter adult there for a second. I apologize. Chat, this is not the only thing I've been recording today. As you maybe have saw in the Discord, I have been talking about... Um... The DLC, the Erd, the Tree. Um, but this should be fun. I'm looking forward to some more Voyage Through Vanadil. I definitely wasn't sitting there today being like, oh wait, I've got to do Voyage Through Vanadil, I have to stop. I can't just do Voyage Through Vanadil for the rest of my life. Oh no, not Voyage. No, god damn it. Elden Ring for the rest of my life. Let's go through the news, shall we? Because there's a fair bit to get through. Uh, there's a reason why I'm, I, I came a little bit late today, because I was making the thumbnail. <laughs> and I ended up getting a little bit carried away, but... Oh god, okay, I need to actually do something quickly. Get ready to see some incredible chat. Settings. There. Appearance. Here. Green. There you go. Magic. By making the background green, it disappears. Who would have saw that technology, like, coming back in, in, in any way, shape, or form? So chat, there's a couple of quick harvests you guys can see over on Exclamation Mark YouTube, I think, right? Uh, you can see my Iron Meat demo, which is kind of like this run and gun shooter, similar to the the means of, I guess, Contra? Actually, I, I, it kind of escapes me what kind of shooters there are now, now that I think about it. Uh, Constance, which is a Machiavania. Uh, a 2D hand-drawn Metroidvania. Uh, definitely doesn't remind me of anything in particular. And then this, which is a one-off de-rustification episode. About 30 minutes long of me just running around in Elden Ring and getting acquainted to the controls again. And kind of talking about what I'm looking forward to in the DLC. So you can see that if you want. It's about 30 minutes and it's just me going to a few landmarks and fighting some enemies before DLC releases. Uh, chances are, we, this is the end of the, of the quick harvest, like resurgence you've been seeing. Uh, we're not going to be getting as many now uh, going into the last part of this month, mainly because Shadow of the Earth Tree is going to be my priority next week. And then Dawn Trail releases, and that's going to be my priority. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a lot of stuff is coming up, a lot of things. Uh, a lot of mainline series are coming back now. Speaking of, though, chat. Let's talk about this. <laughs> the Nintendo Direct came out. And we found out some more information regarding our three favourite franchises. Mario, Metroid, and Zelda. So, Dragon Quest 3. I might be doing a full playthrough of. Mainly because I haven't played Dragon Quest 3 before. And it is... Within the realm of, I'm interested in checking this out, I'm interested in this. I don't know when I'll do it. It depends on when it releases. I was told, in fact, I originally wasn't planning on doing this this year because I thought, oh, Dragon Quest 3 is coming out first. I, I want to wait until 1 and 2 get remakes first. I would assume you want to play it in order. No, Dragon Quest 3 is the, is the kind of like the prequel game and it's how the story begins. So you want to start with 3 and then do 1 and 2. Okay. That makes sense. Metroid Prime 4 is scary, but not too scary because I've got till next year to play Prime 2 and Prime 3. Uh, if you remember back in ye day, uh, chat, Metroid Prime 4, Metroid Prime 1, I did a full playthrough of that. I did not finish my playthrough of Metroid Prime 2. I want to try and get back into it though and get that done. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Echoes of Wisdom will be a full playthrough because it's a Zelda 2D Zelda game. It's not going to be like Breath of the Wild where there's going to be too much content. But to be fair, if it did, if it was that, I would probably just do what I'm doing with Shadow of the Earth Tree right now and just do a bunch of um, big parts, not the entire thing, but just pre-recorded episodes of me going through that game. And then this. This is definitely going to be a full playthrough. What's happening to Luigi's text here? It's gone like dark. Luigi's evil. Whoa, look at Luigi! Yeah, there's a reason why that's happening, chat, because of the um, the ultra key. It's making Luigi like a negative creature. In fact, this entire logo is fucked. 
Because it's all green. Good. Well, that's fine. Who cares about that anyway? So, yeah. If you don't know, I am a massive fan of the Mario and Luigi games. They are the childhood. The dream of the childhood. Uh, I remember playing Superstar Saga when it came out in the Game Boy Advance. And I loved it. And I've loved the series ever since. So, to kind of getting this series back. Really cool. And I quite enjoy that aspect of it. So, got Mario and Luigi Rubbish Rubbership coming out in November. Could be fun. This is coming out in September. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Just to give you an idea, chat. I'm playing Silent Hill 2, Lost in Vivo, and potentially Dayman 1998 in October. I'm not going to have time for this. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Four playthroughs at the same time. What can go wrong? <laughs> Anyway, here's this. This is why this, this intro took me a while to do, because I made a, I made a thumbnail. <laughs> this isn't uploaded yet. I just finished it. This is the first part. I'm going to basically, the way I'm doing Shadow of the Earth Tree is it isn't going to be a full playthrough. It's not going to be me doing everything on recording. Just the stuff that I find most interesting. So what I've done is... I've taken my first reaction to going into the DLC and combined that with me going to the first Legacy Dungeon and doing that. Which was really good chat. I really enjoyed it. The boss at the end was pain, but I got through it in less time than I thought I was going to get through it. So I'm quite happy about that. But yes, that's how it's going to work. Chances are part two will come out around mid next week. And I also want to get part two, three and four done as well and i think that's gonna be it i don't i don't plan on doing too much but yeah this is gonna be about a two and a half hour part so look forward to that <laughs> and then finally currently playing unfortunately as i predicted uh, a biotic factor has been shafted because of elden ring who, who would have saw that coming nine souls i'm still getting through i'm gonna do some more of that tonight after the stream that's the plan but i don't know chat i kind of want to get back into mesmer's like realm of evil and darkness again <laughs> they're really building him up by the way they're really building up uh, like uh mesmer a cyber's world i know a cyber character howdy welcome in okay you just avoided the spoiler thumbnail maelstrom so i won't show it again but i made a thumbnail for shadow of the archery <laughs> I'm kind of sad that that game doesn't have a photo mode because there was a lot of opportunities while I was like looking around. I was like, I want to get a picture of this. This is gorgeous. Bam -ba -dum. I did hear you were planning on sneaking out of work at 4 p.m. Maelstrom. So were you successful in that regard? Or are you still trying to get out of work? Just got to use the binoculars. Exactly. Uh, What am I doing? Okay, guess the game. Yeah, I'm a little bit fuzzled right now, chat, because I have just finished, like, recording a two and a half hour Elden Ring VOD. And I am like... Yeah. <laughs> so give me a minute, I'll get back into the flow of things. I've got some orange juice in front of me. Right. What is this? The Messenger. The power of the of the earth and the tree. The messenger. I knew it. I don't know how I knew it. I didn't. <laughs> I would have gotten that from this one though. Because that's Glacial Peak. Yeah, I would have gotten it from this one. And this one. Not this one. They should have started with this one. Because I, I, th th this is this obvious. I don't know. It's not obvious. <laughs> Chat is not. I don't know how I got that. Like the only game that came to my mind. A uh, 2D platformer. Not Metroidvania. I've, I've always said this about The Messenger. The me Messenger is a great 2D platformer. It is a terrible Metroidvania. There was so much backtracking in that game. Oh my god. Sea of Stars is great though. I love their second game. 
Good old Sabotage Studios. Alright. <laughs> the music stopped when I was trying to sing it. That was a bit mean. But yeah, I mean, no surprises, chat. Elden Ring DLC is very good. I'm doing a lot of it right now, and I'm enjoying it immensely. Uh, there is one thing I'm not enjoying, though, and you'll see that when you go into it, Maelstrom. There is a, a decision they made in terms of enemies that I am very, very uh, salty about. But let's get into this, shall we? Let's get into Voyage Free Vanadio, shall we? Get started. I need to get Voyage Free Vanadio open. Uh, I remember I wrote last time that we were going to be going through Guzgan Mines and just having and seeing what that's about. Let's get started, shall we?